What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the jumbo sized Adidas Telstar 18 World Cup ball that I'm currently sitting on. It really is that big. Retail is $300 and whether or not it's worth it is really dependent on one, whether or not you have the money and two, whether or not you actually have the space for this thing. And if you are interested in one for yourself, you can click the first link down below or the little pop-up in the corner of the screen. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you will find buy and Alex for this particular soccer ball, if you can even call it that, for below its normal $300 retail price. First things first, let me address why we're in the SR4U boot room and not in my office where I would usually record my reviews. Well, when the Jumbo Telstar 18 showed up for review, it was in a big box, but fully deflated. You guys saw its deflated state at the start of the video. Still quite large, but it fit through a doorway, no problems at all. I pumped it up for this video, and to my surprise, it doesn't actually fit through a doorway. No. Come on. So obviously, as the name would suggest, the Jumbo Telstar 18 is gigantic. To give you guys an idea of scale, I'm about 5'11", standing next to this ball. To give you guys an idea of how it compares to an actual soccer ball, here's a regular size 5 World Cup match ball and next to it, it is tiny. I would say the jumbo ball is probably 10 times bigger if I had to give a rough estimate. Technically, the diameter of the ball, which is the measurement from one side to the next, is 80 centimeters, which doesn't actually seem that big until you see it in person. Doesn't fit through a doorway, obviously, as you guys saw. And to give you guys another idea of scale, here's a clip of me stacking some shoe boxes, Adidas boxes to be specific, right next to it, and it is approximately six shoe boxes high. So again, it's really, really big. If you don't have the space for this or a specific room where you want this to stay once it's fully inflated, uh, it's probably not a good purchase even if you can afford it because if you wanna move it from room to room, unless you have extremely wide doorways for some reason, you're gonna to have to deflate it, move it through the doorway, and then reinflate it in whatever room you want it to stay in and obviously repeat that process every time you wanna move the ball around, which can be a bit of a pain. As far as the construction of the ball is concerned, it's actually much better quality than I was expecting it to be. I almost thought this was going to be kind of like an exercise ball in the form of a soccer ball with the panels and stuff, but it seems to have a pretty typical soccer ball construction, which is partially why this thing is so heavy, which we'll get to in just a second. So you can see the panel design is more along the lines of the glider rather than the official match ball, which is understandable considering the scale of everything. Everything is hand stitched and the actual material on the outside of the ball isn't like a like a soft elasticated rubbery type material. It's actually a typical synthetic leather kind of soccer ball material you'd find on a mid-range ball. So again, the quality is really, really good. I would expect this to be a very durable product. The only thing on this ball that isn't oversized is going to be the valve, which you guys did see me using a pretty regular pump at the start of the video. There's a look at it right there. So you can use a regular pump to pump this up, whether that's a hand pump, which would take forever, or the bigger pump that I showed at the start, which still took about two or 300 pumps. This thing holds a ton of air. My recommendation would be that if you do plan on picking one of these up, also invest in an electric pump because it'll make your life a lot easier. Finally, the number one question that I'm sure is on a lot of people's minds is can you actually play with this oversized Telstar 18? And I would say for the most part, not really. And the main reason for that is down to the weight of the ball. Once it's fully inflated, and even when it's not fully inflated, the ball is much heavier than I think a lot of people would realize. If I had to guess, because there's really no way for me to accurately weigh this thing on a scale, 
probably 10 or 15 pounds. It's really, really heavy. And the construction of the ball, being that they did use kind of a typical soccer ball construction, means that it's very, very firm. So when you kick the ball, like a regular soccer ball, it doesn't really compress very much. So it's like kicking a giant medicine ball, if that makes any sense. Some of you guys may have experienced those goalkeeper training balls where it's the same size as a regular soccer ball, but it weighs like five pounds, six pounds. They're made for throwing, not for kicking. If you've ever tried to kick one of those, you can cause some pretty serious damage to your ankles and knees. And that's kind of the same situation that I get with this particular ball. If you try to kick this with any kind of significant force, like taking a free kick, for example, it might work, it might not work out so well for you. So it's something that I would personally kind of avoid. If you wanna take this in your backyard or even to a field and kind of jokingly play a game, just passing around and stuff like that, you're not gonna hurt yourself. But if this is something that you intend on like trying to kick as hard as you possibly can, I really wouldn't recommend doing that at all. And also if you do plan on actually using this, keep in mind that because it is all white, it's gonna scuff up pretty easily. So it's $300, relatively expensive. Uh, so as long as you don't mind kind of making it look not as good as it does from brand new, then it's probably one of those things that you don't necessarily want to play with. Like I said at the start of the video, it's more of a decorative piece, kind of a collector's item, if you will. A very cool one at that. But is this $300 Jumbo Telstar 18 actually made to play with? You can do it technically, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It just is way too big. You can't juggle it. You can't really shoot it. You can barely pass it. It's more of a joke if you wanted to play with it than anything. So to sum up my review of the Telstar 18 Jumbo Match Ball, is it actually worth the $300 retail price? Yes, if you're a collector. Yes, if you have the money for it. And yes, if you have the space for it as well. No, if you're somebody that is looking to buy this to actually play with. I think if you wanna play with a giant ball, obviously it's not going to look like the official match ball, but I think spending $10 on an exercise ball that's gonna be a lot lighter and a lot more forgiving and much safer to kick, to be quite honest, that's gonna be a lot more fun than dropping $300 on this and potentially causing some pretty severe damage to your ankles or knees. So for the most part, this is something that I would say is definitely more decorative, more of a collector's piece than anything. Not something that I would necessarily recommend to buy in order to actually play with. You can absolutely do that, but like I said, because of how heavy and because of how big this thing is, it's not really ideal to kick around. So that's pretty much it for my review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in one of these for yourself, you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you can find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We'll be able to pick this soccer ball up below its normal $300 retail price. Any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching. Gotta practice my stepovers. Oh no.